Principles of Infection Control The advent of antibiotics, vaccines, and improved social infrastructure have had a significant impact in controlling and protecting patients against a variety of infectious agents. In developing countries, infection is one of the most critical health problems. In highly industrialized countries, infection still accounts for much serious illness despite improved methods of treatment and prevention. Now, what do you understand about infection control? Infection control is a discipline concerned with the prevention of healthcare-associated infections. It is actually microbiology implicated in practice. The principles of infection control encompasses the following. Number one, prevention. It comes with hand hygiene, cleaning, disinfection, sterilization, and vaccination. Second, monitoring and investigation, which includes surveillance and source tracing. And number three, management, with the interruption of outbreaks with the help of multiple agencies and local agencies involved in infection prevention. Healthcare providers are responsible for the biological safety of their clients. If infection control measures are not in place, you are actually favoring the spread of pathogens. And if you are in the healthcare setting, it acts as an amplifier for spreading the disease in the community and as well in the hospital setting. Microorganisms are everywhere, but most are harmless. And these are called resident flora or transient flora. These are microorganisms normally present in a part or area of the body. But remember, they may produce infection if they are transferred to another part of the body. Over here, we have the diagram of the human body. Our innate immune system and normal flora or resident flora, as we said earlier, protects our body from foreign microorganisms that may cause an infection. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about healthcare associated infections.